All right, so I got a request to do basically the interior of the house, and um, I tried to explain it, and my explanation seemed quite shit, so I offered to do a video. Um, basically, what I'm going to do is if. Hold on. So I've got the door here, which will even select and everything. So height unselected. So that's the door there. So that's pretty much where we want to base it off. So what I'm going to do is, you can see it's sort of an L shape here. So what we're just going to do, we're just going to make a box. And, you know, it'll be roughly the right size and we'll mess around with it afterwards. But, um, editable poly, move the verts, because we don't want it sticking out of the wall. So I'm pretty sure that's how we want it. Now, these walls will be paper thin, but, you know, hopefully no one will be, uh, getting picky about uh, structural integrity and all that. And we want to connect, so we split that in half. And we just want to delete that. And bring that out a little bit. In fact, whoop, what we'll do is we will even... Uh, how do I want to do that? With any luck, it'll let me... But no, it won't. So, hmm. But if we just go like that. Yep, two segments. And we'll go top. Oop. And collapse. And it looks a bit terrible, but we'll deal with it. We want to do cap that off, and then again we'll go border. I uh, unselected. Let's see. Uh huh. All right, so we'll cut this, and unfortunately, this is mainly just uh, touching things up and making things look, you know, less shit. That should line up but it doesn't seem to be. Sorry, people, I sound like a moron because it's a bit early. All right, so we've basically got this part, and we'll extrude that out a little bit. Unhide all. So this is our window. Close enough. So we'll go front, and what we really want is this to sort of line up with the floor here. So that looks about right, and that's basically our interior. So with any luck, it doesn't appear to be sticking out anywhere. Excellent. So that's basically our interior there. So we'll hide unselected. So this is what we've got. And pretty much what we're going to do is polygon, we'll select all. In fact, because it's red, we can't tell. So we'll put that back to gray. So select it all, and we go flip here, and now what actually happens is if we go object properties and backface cull, that means if you're seeing the back of the polygon, you won't be able to see it. And so this is basically an interior. And what can we do? We should be able to target weld and just bring this over and reduce the poly count just a little bit. And... In fact, what we could do even undo the back face curl because that's just annoying. So what we'll do is target weld that, and we'll target weld this one too. Unfortunately, it's just a lot of uh, messing around and whatever, but we should hopefully sort of get to the point where we've got a fairly lower poly interior box that we can mess around with. So with all that sorted, we've got our interior, but what we need to do is unhide. Let's work out what we need to keep. Basically that and the door frame. Unhide all, hide, selected. So that's what we want. And so this is the interior, so let's call it that. Now what we need to do is cut holes. In fact, we can actually let's hide the house and just have the interior. So 
So this may not necessarily end well, but we'll try anyway. So what we want to do, just for the, so we can see shit, we'll flip it back again. And what we're going to want to do is we need to cut a hole here. And so to do that, what I'm going to do is, in fact, if we just go connect, and still got those two pieces, and we'll just, so what we're going to do is we're going to use the uh, door frame to hide the um, seams, I guess. So we're just going to do that. And then we're going to want to, we're pretty much going to want to split that down again. And with any luck, we can make it look half. Uh, we'll just do whatever, we'll fix it up later. So that's the top of the door. Which means we can... So, you know, we've got... All that can go over there, but we'll deal with that later. So we've got our... Box here which we can then delete and flip. So that's our interior there. We've even got a way to get in now. And with any luck, the floor shouldn't be too horrible and terrible. So we'll unhide all. And we want the interior. We'll hide that. And we'll get the door frame again and the house. Hide unselected. And we'll just do the same here. So we want to grab this and remove, basically we want to cut up this plane here. God, I hate orthogonal for you. I think it's orthographic, but you know, never mind. So what we're going to do is, we'll just go front and we'll, in fact, if we just um, not hit F1 and bring up the health on the other screen, but if we just select all these edges and we'll just go, uh, where is it? Slice plane. We'll go line that up there. Slice. In fact, what we'll do, and slice there, what we'll do is we'll cut it across the top first. Because now getting rid of all that should be a lot easier. So we'll go that. Oh. Get out of slice plane and then select back into slice plane and we'll cut the rest of the house that appears to have cut it anyway but we'll deal with that and so now we've got that and hide and we want to go hide that and Oop. selected so we've got this is the house basically and then we want to attach the interior which I'm going to assume it's done yes all good so you can just see the edge here and so all we really have to do is go border border bridge and we've got ourselves an interior. And then you pretty much just repeat the same sequence for the windows and stuff, which is why I did this whole edge around, so you could do the windows as well. And that's actually taken about nine minutes, so I'm going to call it quits there and just hope people can work it out from there.